fate of the most pristine ocean left on Earth and the thousands of species that call it home hangs in the balance. The Commission for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources, or CAMLARM, is currently meeting. The goal? To agree on a deal to conserve the Southern Ocean and manage its marine ecosystems. While the Commission is supposed to base its decisions on science, political tensions and commercial fishing interests may prove the ultimate decider. That's according to new research from Stanford University. CAMLAR is currently negotiating Marine Protected Areas, or MPAs, that could amount to at least 12% of the Southern Ocean, home to more than 10,000 species, including most of the world's penguins and whales. Beyond resource interests, international geopolitics and tensions in other parts of the world are acting as a barrier to the MPA process. And there's a lot of tensions in the South China Sea. There's tensions between the U.S. and, and Russia and the Middle East. And these tensions all, all add up. Add up to increased difficulties in coming to agreements on MPAs. Russia has already blocked conservation proposals five consecutive times, while other delegates to the commission, made up of 24 nations and the European Union, supported revised proposals to create MPAs in Antarctic waters. But Evan Bloom, the head of the U.S. delegation to Kamlar, says he hopes Russia can be swayed this year. We hope to bring Russia on board. Uh, we are talking with them uh, in a positive way. Science can trump politics, and we find that Kamlar uh, uh, has the ability to make uh, decisions that are based on, uh, focused on the ecosystem and uh, scientific uh, results. So. Um, we think that, that can happen here. Campaigners believe any agreement, even one with many compromises, is an important step towards protecting the Southern Ocean.